when I start sharing something, it takes too much of time. So I couldn't start on time. Anyways, yesterday, what did we study? We started off with register transfer and micro operations chapter, right? We saw what are registers. We understood how to represent a register using the hardware block. Then we saw uh, what is register transfer, replacement operator, how it is used to transfer the data from one register to another. I also showed you a block diagram for transferring data from R1 to R. R2. And then we saw if I have a control function involved in register transfer, how to represent that. Okay. Both using register transfer language as well as using the block diagram. After that, we saw that how is data transferred between registers. Okay. How is data transferred between registers with the use of common bus system? Right. So this was the circuit which we had seen last. Now, for this circuit, there's one important thing you should be knowing. That is, how many registers would be required? Like, how many uh, multiplexers would be required? What size of multiplexers would be required? What size of common bus would be required when I want to carry out transfer between registers? Okay, so uh, just have a look at this circuit once and then I'll uh, discuss about the size of registers, size of multiplexers, and bus required for carrying out data transfer between different registers. Okay, I hope now this circuit is uh, fit in your mind. You all know how to carry out, uh, how to design this circuit. Nothing ratta maring. You just have to understand this. How are we connecting the lines, right? What did I explain you yesterday? Uh, if I ha if I want to connect register A to all the multiplexers, just connect zeroth bit, uh, just connect contents of register A to zeroth bit of all the four multiplexers, so that whenever S1 and S0 both are zero zero, zeroth bit of all the four multiplexers would become active, and your data that is present in register A would be transferred to the common bus. Okay. So this thing, now you'll be able to design on your own. When I want to design a common bus, okay, if you have K registers, I here we had taken how many registers? Four registers, A, B, C, D, but it's not that. Right now what we are learning, what we are going to study throughout the entire semester, it is just for minor configurations, okay? Computer with a lot of registers hote hai. Internal uh, internal organization of computers has many registers involved. Okay, but we are just look, taking minor uh, minimum configurations for understanding. Fine. So suppose you have K registers involved for uh, carrying out data transfer. Each register is of n uh, uh, n bits. Okay, these K registers have n bits data in it. Okay, so these are my. Uh, uh, these are my registers. My, my register has this, uh, if I say that 16 bits of data, so I have 16 bits, I have seven 16 bit registers. Suppose this is what I mean to say. Okay, so if you want to design a bus system for K registers, which have N bits of data in them, you will need, first of all, N line common bus. Okay, we had four bit registers. Jitne bits ka data, your common bus will have that many lines. Fine. Then you will require n multiplexers. So depending upon the bits of your register, that many multiplexers you require. So if your register has 16 bits in it, you will need 16 multiplexers for it. This is very important. Huh? Short questions are asked on the basis of this. So please keep this in mind. For n bits data in my register, I will need n line common bus. I will need n multiplexers, each of size k cross 1. Jitne registers hai, that would be the size of my multiplexer. Understood? This is very important. For k registers of n bits data, you will need n line common bus, you will need n multiplexers to design this circuit, and you will 
the size of the multiplexers which you'll be using is k cross 1. In the previous example that we saw, in that we had taken 4 bit register and uh, we had taken 4 registers. 4 registers of 4 bit. And hence, we did not understand everything was 4 4. We were, take, we were taking 4 cross 1 multiplexer, we were having 4 multiplexer. But understand it like this, okay? If my four, If I had 4 registers of 16 bits, four registers of 16 bits data. Then tell me uh, how, what would be the size of bus? Bus size would be, how many lines would be there in bus? Yes, 16. Then how many uh, multiplexers would I need? 16. And what would be the size of my multiplexer? Four cross one. Okay, fine. So this thing is very important in short questions. Now that remember you have quiz two quiz uh, coming up, right? So these minor things you should be knowing. Okay, so now let us move ahead. So that was common bus system where we uh, saw that for K registers, N bits data, I will need N line common bus and uh, N multiplexers. Each of size of multiplexer would be k cross 1 okay so this was for common bus system common bus for registers now let us see another way yesterday i told you that i'll show you without using multiplexers also you can design this type of circuit okay which can be done using tri-state buffer do you know what is this tri-state buffer have you heard of it? Okay, all of us are aware of buffer gate. Can anyone tell me what is buffer gate? Have you seen this gate earlier? It's a buffer gate, right? What is a buffer gate? Whatever input I provide, I'll be getting as an output. Okay. okay. What happened? Fine. So, uh, it is now when I talk about tri-state, yes, it includes delay. Now, when I talk about tri-state buffer gate, it is somewhat different than your normal buffer gate. It has three states involved. It's a three-state gate, right, where two of its states are signals equivalent to logic 1 and 0. Like normal, up koi bhi do states ap jo baat karte ho, those, logic gate, the, those two states would just be signals 0 and 1. Okay, and remaining state is this one okay how how does a three state gate look like this this way like this this is your normal input okay here you have one more input which is your control input and this is your output now how does a tri-state work here as i told you two of its states are zero and one signals only Whereas third state is high impedance state. This high impedance state behaves like an open circuit, right? Whenever your gate is in high impedance state, it means your circuit is disconnected. How does it work? It works on the basis of control input. If your control input, suppose this is my uh, uh, output, okay? If your control input C, if C is equal to 1, in that case, what is your output? Your output is same as your input. Output Y, suppose, Y would be same as your input. Yani, when the value of control signal is 1, control input is 1, in that case, whatever you provide as your input would be your output. But when your control signal is 0, when this input is 0, what would happen? Your circuit will go into high impedance state. Isko kya kahenge? High impedance. What does this high impedance mean? It means your circuit is disconnected. Okay, this will not work. Your circuit, this okay, this output will not work. Okay, it will neither give zero, you will not call it zero or one, but you will call, you will say that your circuit is into <coughs> high impedance state regardless of what the input you are providing. Okay, so now let's see. So uh, all of you understood tri-state? It Your output depends upon this input, third input that you are providing. Third input, nahi hai, uh, control input which we are providing. Okay, now can uh, can you think of ki how can I use this tri-state buffer 
for designing the common bus? Right? Let us see. Simply, I'll just show you one state. Uh, suppose I have my uh, registers, okay, A, B, C, D. What I do is I'll connect, suppose, 0th bit. This is my uh, first bit, second bit, third bit, fourth bit, okay? Let us do one thing. Let us connect. I'll place a tri state buffer over here. Huh? Abhi simply ek hi buffer hai. But what will I connect this input to? I'll connect it to a decoder. Suppose I have a two cross four decoder over here. Okay, you know that uh, in decoder, you have whatever inputs you, if you have, this is a two, two cross four decoder, let me keep one enable line itself. Enable is whenever enable is one, then only my circuit will work. Okay, so here what would happen when your selection lines are zero, zero, right? This would be one, remaining would be zero. Yes or no? This would be one. When this would be one, what would happen? Here, what will happen? One will happen. And in all the remaining three tri straight buffers, zero would be passed. When zero would be passed, these would be disconnected. All these three tri straight buffers would be in high impedance state. Only this circuit would work. Right? What we are doing is we are connecting all these outputs to a common line bus. Okay? Here, four lines. You will be having four different lines. Did you understand how, how are we using this tri straight buffer? Similarly, when so what would happen? A0 would be transferred to my bus line. Okay. Then similarly, you will repeat this particular block for remaining four bits. So you'll need four two cross four decoders. Jitne aapke uh, register se, you'll need that many decoders. Did you understand? So this is how uh, we can use this tri-state buffer for designing our common bus system for different registers. If I select one one over here, this gate would be one, remaining all would be zero, and when the, all these are zeros, all the A0, B0, C0 while the circuit would be in high impedance state and they will not get connected to your common bus, only the data from D0 would be transferred to your common bus. Okay, so what you will do is this uh, one, uh, this uh, input that you are providing to the first decoder, you will be providing the same inputs to all the four decoders. So what would happen if you select 0, 0, A0 from this state would go out. Similarly, A1 from the other state would go out, A2, A3, A4, similarly, okay? So this is how you can design the circuit for common bus using tri-state buffer. This is three state buffer. Okay, this is just one state. Am I sharing this PDF? Is this PDF visible? Okay. So this is bus line for bit zero. Similarly, for all the remaining states, this block diagram would repeat. Okay. So this is bus line with three state buffers. Okay, so see generally this bus actually how how does data get transferred here pe ek hai. Ki when I want to transfer carry out this type of operation uh, data from C is transferred to R1 but actually kaise hoga first data from C would get transferred to bus and then from the bus data would be transferred to R1. Okay, this will be seeing in detail in the next chapter. Usme kaise pura bus ke through data is transferred among different types of registers that will be seen. Okay, but when you write a single micro operation like this, transferring data from one register to another, actually it takes place in this way. First of all, the data from C would get transferred to the bus and from bus then it goes to your destination register. Fine? Chalo. So now, uh, transfer between register is completed. Okay? <coughs> now let us move on to arithmetic circuit. Ye main aapko baad mein batati what is memory transfer? I'll, I'll just give you, I'll just tell you what is MAR. AR is address register, which stores addresses of uh, 
which stores address from which you, you want to read Me memory address from which you want to read when you want to carry out some read operation read operations means what uh, at a particular location that you specify over here in address register from memory that data is fetched and stored into data register dr stands for data register we'll be studying all these types of registers but here pe beech mein ek topic aa gaya hai what is memory read and what is memory write okay memory read means when you are reading something from a particular location in memory and then storing it to some register we call it memory read and this is memory write write operation what does write operation do write operation transfers content of data register to memory wo hum baad mein dekhenge theek hai now let us talk about this table i'll come back later let us talk about different circuits see we said that ye pura chapter what is the chapter all about it's register transfer and micro operations right we are going to study different types of micro operations one register transfer which we already saw okay second arithmetic operations third logical operations and fourth shift operations this we already studied how is register transfer carried out okay we also saw how to design a hardware circuit for it now we'll be moving towards arithmetic operations okay <laughs> all of us know what are micro operations the operations that take place on the data stored in the registers are called micro operations and what are arithmetic micro operations the operations that perform arithmetic operations on the numeric data which is stored in registers are called arithmetic operation uh, arithmetic micro operations okay so they perform arithmetic operations now can anyone tell me what are arithmetic operations what have you studied what do you mean by arithmetic operations add is an arithmetic micro operation right add okay then subtract find increment decrement yes we are going to study all these okay so first of all when i talk about simple add micro operation uh, what is it when i write like this r3 arrow r1 plus r2 always right hand side is solved first whatever is uh, whatever is the answer would be transferred to register r3 so this is my add micro operation what is subtract micro operation when i write like this r3 r1 minus r2 but in digital systems what did we see how do we carry out subtraction we carry out subtraction using twos complement major uh, majority times we ca carry out using two twos complement only one's complement is uh, when we want to uh, carry out complement of a number that's one's complement okay but subtraction generally it's performed in a digital system using twos complement so how would i uh, change my operation over here i write like this r1 plus r uh, twos complement of r2 what is twos complement of r2 one's complement plus one okay so this is one micro operation which would perform subtraction so from this we can see that subtraction micro operation uh can also be performed using addition micro operation okay so if i have addition micro operation circuit i can also perform subtraction micro operation with it right so uh this is my basic addition subtraction one by one we'll be seeing all these okay and then what we will do is we will learn how to design a composite circuit which includes all the uh micro operations okay so what we will do is we are going to study three circuits right now which you have already studied it is just a revision binary adder we'll see how to integrate subtractor in the same circuit so binary adder and subtractor we will also see binary incrementer okay so let us first start off with binary adder do you remember the circuit how do i design binary adder what will i need <coughs> excuse me 
Which components would I need to design a 4 bit binary adder? Pahle adder ki baat, XOR ki baat nahi. For binary adder, what we were using? We were using 4 full adders? Yes. If I want to carry out operation like this, what I need? I need 1 plus 1 is 10. You write 1 over here. Again, you write 1 over here. You write 1 over here. And like this. Okay. So, this is how you carry out addition. And if I have a previous carry, that also has to be taken into consideration. So, what we need? We need full adders. Why full adders? Because for each step I am using, uh, I'll need maximum 3 bits to add. Okay, so how did we design the circuit of a binary adder? You must be remembering we were taking four full adders like this. Okay, and we were providing the inputs A, B to each full adder like this. Okay, here you were having some S1, S2, S3, S4 and the carry which was generated were propagated like this. Right, so this is your carry 1, carry 2, carry 3 and carry 4. Here you provide carry in. Fine, this is your A0, A1, A2, A3. So, this is how you used to design a 4-bit binary adder. All of us know this, okay? <laughs> in the same circuit, now I want to design adder as well as subtractor. We know that, uh, what, did, what formula did we see earlier? We saw that R3... If I want to carry out R1 minus R2, what did I do? R1 plus R2 dash plus 1. Okay, this is what? This is complement of R2 plus 1. So, how would I get that? How would I integrate this in my same circuit? Yes, the answer mujhe pehle de diya tha aap logo ne. Tell me, how would I do it? We know that when I use XOR gate, okay, when I use XOR gate, A XOR 0, can tell me, anyone tell me what is my answer over here? A XOR 0, suppose A is 1, 1, 1, 1. If I write XOR 0, it means what? It will give me the same number? <coughs> Excuse me. And A XOR 1, what would it give me? Let us see A XOR 1. It will give me A dash. Yes. So, from this logic, can I change my circuit? And uh, we know that I want for a subtraction, what I need to do is A dash plus 1 karna padega. Hai? Instead of adding A, instead of adding A to X, koi bhi number mein A ko add karna hai, so this is addition. But when I carry out A dash plus 1, it would become subtraction. Okay. So, what we will do is, in the same circuit, upper wali circuit, instead of directly adding B over here, what we will do is, we will provide this value of B through an XOR gate. Okay, or XOR ka first input B hoga, lekin second input kya hoga, ek additional bit. Let this additional bit be M. If the value of M is 0, to yahan pe kya jayega? B jayega. And if the value of M is 1, to what would go inside? It would go B dash. Okay, it would, uh, it would, uh, my input would be B dash. If M is 0, my in, my second input to my full adder would be B. And if M is 1, my second input to my full adder would be B dash. So, what we will do is, we will connect the same M over here in carry. Yani, jab M ki value 0 hogi, to my, my full adder's output would be A0 plus B0 plus 0. Okay, carry in. And when the value of M is 1, what will I get over here? A0 plus, ye jab 1 hoga, to idhar aapko kya milega? You'll be getting B0 dash. And this carry is going as an input, so you'll be 1. So now, will it work as subtractor? Right? So this was the logic which you already know. Right? Let me quickly go through that circuit. So you can refresh the concept. This is a 4-bit binary adder. Okay, this is a binary adder subtractor. Kya kia? This is my M. The value of M is XOR with the second number B0, B1, B2, B3. 
and it is also provided as a carry in. Okay, so this is four bit adder subtractor. Chalo, now let us see binary incrementer. Hum abhi pehle kya kar rahe? We are looking at each and every individual micro operation, individual arithmetic micro operation, and then we will move towards what composite circuit which includes all the arithmetic micro operations. Okay, chalo, now tell me for incrementer what would I need? If I am asked to design a simple mic binary incrementer, what I need? <coughs> Excuse me. Incrementer is what? Suppose value A. A is 1010. Zero, one, zero. Okay. And what I need to do is I need to add a simple 1 to it. Mujhe A ki 1 add karna hai. Aur kuch nahi. Mujhe ya, ye sub value 0 hi hongi. Okay. I don't need to add anything over here. Only to the last bit I need to add 1. Okay, so what will be my input? Mujhe ek hi bit add karni hai idhar. Yaha pe kuch nahi add karna hai. So, if I look at this position, I have two bits to add. Agar yaha pe carry bhi aai, suppose ye one hai. Thik hai, agar carry aai, to what would happen? I'll again have to add two bits. Isko to dekhna hai nahi hai, because all these are zeros, we know that. We just want to add one. Okay, so here one plus one, again zero, this one. Again, we are adding two bits. One plus zero is zero. Sorry, one. Uh, carry is zero. Again, these two bits. So, can I design a simple incrementer just by using four half adders? I will not need full adders. Full adder ki kyu zaroor hai? Mujhe pata hai ki ek hi bit add karni hai. Okay. So, to reduce the number of components to minimize your circuit, binary incrementer can be designed just by using four half adders. Look at the circuit. Clear. All these is just revision. Digital system aapne padha hai. Aapko ye sab concepts achche se samaj mein aata ho. I assume. Right? Still if you people have any doubt you can ask me in between. Chalo now you all know adder we learned how to design adder. We learned how to design subtractor. Uh, let us now discuss about, first of all, all the micro operations which are mentioned in this table. And then we will be designing a composite circuit. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Chalo. Uh, quickly, first one is R1 plus R2. My simple addition operation. Second, R1 minus R2 subtraction operation. Subtraction can be carried out using... 2's complement which is mentioned over here. R2 dash is nothing but 1's complement. R2 dash plus 1 is 2's complement. R1 plus 1 is incrementer and R1 minus 1 is decrementer. Okay. Can anyone tell me how can I design this? ये सब सर्किट आपको आ गई चलो अगर मैं आपको एक सर्किट बनाने को कहूं यू विल बी एबल टू डिजाइन दिस r1 plus r2 by adders okay then uh, you know how to find complement right you know how to carry out subtract चलो मैं पहले let us see the circuit and then you tell me how are you going to implement decrement for designing the circuit Abhi, what we are studying, we are looking at 4 bit, <coughs> excuse me, arithmetic circuit. Four bit arithmetic circuit, it will provide, it will uh, carry out, we'll be studying, uh, we'll be implementing different operations using this circuit. Okay. Konse operations will be pehle bata deti hu. Suppose D is my output, first operation is D is equal to A plus B, normal addition. Then D equals to A plus B plus 1, that is addition with carry. Okay, next operation we want to perform is A plus B dash, that is subtraction, but this is with borrow. We plus 1, so borrow is padegi, so that is A plus B dash. Next is A plus B dash plus 1. It is my normal subtraction operation. Okay. 
Uh, we are also uh, carrying out simple operation D equals to A, which is this. This is my transfer operation. I'm just transferring data from one register, one uh, value to another. Okay. Then uh, D equals to A plus one increment operation. D equals to A minus one decrement operation. Okay. These are the operations which we will be performing through a single circuit. Okay. Ab, how are we going to do that? For this, let me show you the circuit. Or I will explain you. We have read this. Okay, increment, decrement, four bit increment. Okay. See, for all these operations, we saw that for if I want to carry out, um, we first. Minimize this circuit a bit that you can see it. <coughs> Is it visible? Okay. So, uh, here. Okay. Let us see, we have taken four multiplexes. Okay. Dhyan se ek bar samaj loge, then you will be able to design it on your own. Here we have taken four multiplexes. In each, first of all, we have taken four full adders. We saw that if I want to carry out addition operation, if I want to carry out subtraction operation, if I want to carry out increment operator, increment operation, all these operations uh, can be carried out by adding of numbers. Okay. And for, ad for addition micro operation, we will need full adders. Okay. So, what we have done is we have taken four full adders first. Why? Because it is a four bit number. Four bit arithmetic circuit. Right. So, what we are doing is we are taking four full adders. To the first input of each and every full adder, we are just connecting the first number that is A0, A1, A2, A3. That we are connecting directly. Okay. Second input would be your multiplexed input. What do you mean by multiplex input? Depending upon which operation you want to carry out. So suppose uh, when when you talk about full adder, what would be my full adder's out, uh, output? Output D equals to A plus Y plus C in. Your adder would carry out addition of three numbers. This A would be your normal input, original input. This Y is your multiplexed input. Multiplex input kyo? Because multiplex will decide that I have to the second number. Kya dena hai. In some cases, you simply want to add B. In some cases, you want to add complement of B. In some cases, you just want to add 0. Right? I uh, second number ka addition ki hi hai. Like transferring. When I say transfer operation, what is transfer operation? You are just adding 0 to it. Or in some cases, you want to add 1 to it. 1 yani kya? increment. So, value of B would keep changing. Did you understand? Yes or no? Ye ek bar sare y, y ke kitne options ho sakte? It can be either B, it can be either B dash, 0 or 1. Yani aap kya karoge? To your multiplexer, you will be providing these four inputs. Thik hai? Now you will say that, uh, ma'am, wo normal wala to hua nahi. Subtraction. But we also have a third input. What is it? Carry in. So when I have like this, A plus B, Plus, jab carry ki value 0 ho ki, what, is, what would it perform? It would perform simple add. And when it would have A plus B plus 1, what would it perform? Add with carry. Pata chala? This is one set of operation. Abhi maine upas jitne bhi likhe na, wo sab hum yaha pe perform kar paayenge. Then, when the value, instead of B, if B dash is selected, a plus B dash plus 0. What is this operation? Subtraction with borrow. And when A plus B dash plus 1, when the value of carry is 1, what would be the operation carried out? Simple subtraction. This is subtraction with borrow. Okay. Fir, let us see this one. When my second input is 0, A plus 0, carry is also 0. What, what operation would take place? Transfer operation. And when second input is 0, but carry is 1, then what operation will 
इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेशन आर यू ऑल गेटिंग वॉट आई नीड टू डू वॉट आई मीन टू से और किस तरह से आप सर्किट बनेगी सारे ऑपरेशन पता चल रहे हैं सिमिलरली वेन माई सेकेंड इनपुट इज वन ए प्लस वन कैरी इज जीरो अगेन इट वुड एक्ट एज इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेटर एंड वेन दिस कैरी इज ऑल्सो वन तो डिक्रीमेंट जैसा तो कुछ हुआ नहीं ये डिक्रीमेंट होगा क्या होगा कैन एनी वन टेल मी वॉट ऑपरेशन वुड दिस बी ओके टेल मी हाउ वुड आई कैरी आउट डिक्रीमेंट ऑपरेशन डिक्रीमेंट मीन्स वॉट ए माइनस वन एक्सक्यूज मी ए माइनस वन विल टेल मी ए माइनस वन कैसे करेंगे वी नो दैट सब्ट्रैक्शन ए माइनस वन इज नथिंग बट सब्ट्रैक्शन राइट If a is one 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 zero, yeah one 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 one, okay. This is my four digit number. मुझे इसमें से इसको decrement करना है तो fifteen का मुझे fourteen बनाना है, okay. So I need to subtract one from here. मुझे ऐसा करना है. But how do we carry out subtraction? How do we carry out subtraction? It's complement of this, complement of one plus one. Two is complement of one. क्या होगा? Can anyone tell me what is two's complement of one? No, two's complement of one. What? No, 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 no. Yes, it is one, 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 one. Two's complement. Bhool gaye method, shortcut method. Keep this one as it is and then flip the bits. Jab tak first bit nahi aata, tab tak don't change and then change. So when I add one, 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 it means. My if my second number is one in all the four bits, which operation would it perform? It would perform uh, subtract uh, decrement operation. ये मैंने गलत लिखा है इधर. चारों bit आपकी one होगी. आ गया हमारा increment. एक ही bit की बात की थी. ठीक है. If my carry is one and this is zero. If carry is one, a plus zero plus one, this would be increment. Okay, but if my uh, made a mistake. One <laughs> minute. Here, uh, if my second bit, हमने क्या कहा? We will be providing second value. हाँ, ये सब अगर one one है. Here, a plus one. Okay, and if this is zero. Right. In this case, what would be added? Sabi me b b b b add. Sabi me one 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 add hoga. Right. And that is your decrement operation. You are adding one 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 to your a. And that operation a ke char bits honge. Or uske andar ab b wale b me bhi sare bits one 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 add kar rahe ho. Plus you don't have any carry. So this is this will work as your decrement operator. Okay. So look over here. In this circuit, what we are doing? <coughs> we are taking four full adders. First input to the full adder would be A. Okay. Second input would be coming out from a multiplexer. Okay. Multi in multiplexer, what we are doing is we are providing four values. What are my four values? B, B dash, zero, and one. Look, two. Me, what is provided? In the second bit, this is zero. Zero is provided to second bit of all the multiplexer, and to the third bit we are providing one. Fine. So these are the four options which I told you over here. Ki second value number ke four values ho sakte hai. Kon kon se? B, B dash, zero and one. Fine. And then what are we doing? We are providing carry. Carry as carry in, and depending upon the value of carry, if it is zero, तो आपके operation होंगे, one होगा तो operation होगे, and all the four multiplexers are connected to common selection lines, right? After this, we'll be preparing this type of table. कि अगर s की value selection line zero zero है, तो कहाँ क्या जाएगा? B would be given as an input. We don't have any carry in, so a plus b addition होगा. 
अगर सिलेक्शन लाइन जीरो जीरो है कैरी वन है तो एड विथ कैरी इफ सिलेक्शन लाइन इज जीरो वन तो बी डाई शुड बी एडेड इफ सिलेक्शन लाइन इज जीरो वन कैरी इज वन देन सब्रैक्ट ऑपरेशन इफ सिलेक्शन लाइन इज वन जीरो वन जीरो यानी हमने हमारा थर्ड इनपुट क्या था सर्किट में जीरो था राइट सेकेंड नंबर इज जीरो इन दैट केस वॉट वुड है ट्रांसफर ऑपरेशन होगा इफ माई सिलेक्शन लाइन इज वन जीरो एंड कैरी इज वन तो इंक्रीमेंट ऑपरेशन होगा इफ सिलेक्शन लाइन इज वन वन यानी सभी में से फोर्थ बेट एड होगा फोर्थ बेट वॉज वन लुक एट ऑल द फोर मल्टीप्लेक्सेस इट मीन्स वॉट आर वी डूइंग वी आर एडिंग वन वन इन वाई जीरो वन इन वाई वन वन इन वाई टू एंड वन इन वाई थ्री सो वट वी आर डूइंग इज वन 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 ट्रांसफर हो रहा है और वन 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 ट्रांसफर हो रहा है इट मीन्स इट इज विच ऑपरेशन decrement operation uh, when selection line is uh, one one again carry in b1 hai theek hai to kya hoga input mein input mein one ja raha hai okay aur carry b1 hai to again 1 1 1 1 plus 1 is what hamara 1 1 1 1 tha usme mein agar main one add karungi to kya ho jayega yahan pe one aa gaya baki sab zeros ban jayenge right so what would happen carry ko discard karenge hum you know the two's complement method right so here what would happen again it would just carry out the transfer operation understood so this is how we designed a common arithmetic circuit is it clear now will you be able to design it on your own all the operations in a single circuit or if you have understood it properly no need to mug up the circuit you will be able to design it on your own you bas dhyan mein itna rakhna hai yes i will it's a four bit circuit so i will need four full adders four full adders mein what is my second number would keep changing second number mein b ho sakta hai b dash ho sakta hai zero ho sakta hai aur one ho sakta hai first number to a a a a provide karenge to all the four full adders okay this is my a and this is my second input or carry की वैल्यू डालेंगे बस दैट्स इट एंड वेयर विल दिस इनपुट कम फ्रॉम इट वुड कम फ्रॉम अ मल्टीप्लेक्सर फाइन सो दिस वाज योर फोर बिट एरिथमेटिक सर्किट चलो नाउ इफ यू हैव